Hey everybody, stay with me. The best is yet to come. We have all sorts of videos that we've put together the last couple months here. We've got a lot of footage coming through here. Stick with me, we're gonna show you everything. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. It's great to be back. I am happy to be here, happy to show you what we've been working on, happy to, you know, to work with everybody that we've been working with. These videos have turned this from a project to a full-time business, and I'm going to say thank you right off the bat because I thank everybody that's helped me out. It's been amazing, this whole ride, uh, developing, working with every family, uh, trying to get them you know, to be more self-reliant, more self-sustainable, uh, trying to get them uh, to create a, a business for themselves, for their family, uh, so they can stay home with their, their loved ones. Uh, it's something that really is near and dear to my heart, and I really want to help everybody out as much as I can. So what I'm doing is I'm going to start off here by, by just kind of showing you here what I got, um, and then I'm going to phase into what we've been uh, really working on, and I'll have some other camera shots of you know everything that's, that's going on here in this greenhouse uh, for this year. Uh, I will continue to make these videos because I have a lot better understanding of how to use this system than I did last year. The reasoning behind that, I work with so many different people. I have so much information come to me on a regular basis. <laughs> it's amazing what you guys are doing. The growers out there are amazing. Thank you everybody that's that's contributed uh, You know, to start off with the Kickstarter, but then after that, it just turned into this amazing amount of different people working together. Everybody is kind of linked together with this system. Um, it's kicking on right now, though. It's, it just turned on. You know, you can hear the mist. You can hear uh, what is being going, what's going on inside the interior of this unit. Uh, this is the exterior jacket, the nylon jacket that we developed over the course of this past year. The thermal wrap technology is actually on the interior of this. Uh, we can wrap this jacket around it and, and prevent any kind of decay of the original jacket, which protects the investment, uh, protects your investment of Art Garden. Our spring growing season just started, and I am excited. We're getting growing. We have everybody that bought the system that's growing with the us. The groundhog said it's going to be an early spring, so, hey, I, I'm going to take that. It's 40 degrees right now and sunny out, which is excellent. We've had our sh fair share of snowstorms this year. Um, a couple really nice big, big ones came through here. We had some lake effect snow. Uh, along Winnebago here and the drifting really hit us hard. Our neighbors were four feet deep in snow that just came down like those giant flakes were just flying everywhere. It was an intense uh, couple storms we got this year. But it's been a, a, a pretty good spring. So to my right of me here I got my seedlings started. I have uh, 800 seedlings in trays right now. We start them in there and we move them into the system like this. Everybody out there that, that has been growing with this system or just starting to grow with this system, try these varieties out. We have tennis ball lettuce. We have uh, it's, it's a buttercrunch variety, and then we have uh, a bib lettuce. It's a Rex pelleted lettuce. It's easy to plant. We also have a red sales lettuce, which is a greenhouse variety. Um, these are growing right here, and then behind me here we got some cucumbers going, and I'm excited to tell you about those as well. Um, we have uh, Picolino, which I got referred to uh, by Brock, and uh, thanks Brock, because they're amazing cucumbers. Uh, every four inches you get another set, and every flower puts out a cucumber, so you can start to add up the grow sites and everything, and understand how many you can really get. You haven't seen how many uh, you can get until uh, about a month and a half from now, and you're going to see exactly how much you can get. This is going to... This one actually is going to grow up and out, and it's going to create an abundance of cucumbers. You're going to be amazed. Um, so I'm excited to see. So stick with us. Like I said, I'm going to kind of work with uh, a few different cameras today. Uh, we're going to try to get this all figured out where we have uh, the information relayed to you as best as possible. And, um, you know, we can go from there. But lettuces, tomatoes. You know, indigo rose tomatoes, great tomatoes, love them. Sun sugar hybrid, love them. These ones in the center here are some Swiss chard. <laughs> we got Swiss chard going. We got uh, uh, broccoli, we got basils, we got all different kinds of herbs. Grow for profit, like I said, we're going to be growing for uh, uh, different churches and things like that. Also growing for our family. So we're growing. 
and our growers are growing and it's exciting because a lot of information is coming into us and we're being able to process that and figure out uh, different ways of, of starting seeds, different ways of you know, raising all different varieties of plants. It is excellent. I am so excited. The results that we've achieved from hands-on growing, actually getting in here, growing. I have four units set up here. We got a side over here and a side over here. Uh, it's exciting to see the achievements that we've, we've actually been blessed with. It is excellent to see these, these results as they come in from all over the world, all these different growers, different situations, climates change, all different kinds of things like that. So um, it's very exciting. And uh, the growers in the community with us right now, I am just so happy to be a part of it with them and be able to show them how to do this. We're going to be making videos. We're going to be coming out every week now as we grow the whole season. We're going to make sure that videos are out for our customers. And I, I'm just excited to work with everybody. We've so. had some remarkable results with biological dynamics, thermal wrap technology, thermal electrics, therm all different kinds of nitrification fixating plants. Crazy talk it sounds like, but it's actually very simplistic. I would like to touch base on everything, but I only have a little window here to show you what we got. And receiving the data from the growers, it's more than just numbers and profits. It is about progression, and we are just progressing at such a rapid rate. It is amazing to see all these growers and learning from all the different growers. You guys are awesome. I am just blessed to be able to work with all of you at, at this point in my life. It is awesome. You can grow indoors, outdoors, any kind of climate in America, in Canada. We've had very good results. It's a leak-proof system. This is something that really uh, I strive to accomplish. So here's our thermal wrap technology that we've developed, but we also have a new glacier white metal wrap that works in any scenario. You can put this thing out in a snowstorm, and it's going to be fine for the next year. You can overwinter it. You can... You can pressure wash it. Same with this. Pressure wash it in this. This is high quality materials here. We're excited to use this stuff. It is amazing to see how durable this is. This outer jacket can be removed and washed. It can be used a hundred thousand times, replaced. It's an excellent jacket for anybody that wants to grow. I am excited to show everybody about it. It is awesome. You want to make sure that it's going to last for years to come. This is going to last for years to come pretty happy about it. So this is a professional, industrial, clean and quality product inside and out. FDA compliance, we have food and medical grade components, we have everything that we use with this system. It's, it's, it's covered. This is a very high quality system that we made and thank you to everybody that's helped us out and is growing with it right now. I'm going to help you even more as we get rolling here. Here at Art Garden we're striving to make this the new standard of growing. Art Garden is a new standard of growing. No pesticides, no fungicides, no anything going on in the plants that's going to hurt it. Chemicals, all that crap. Forget about it. We basically have a closed looped system. It, it's protected against you know bugs and mold, insects, anything like that. The environmental uh, advancements, I mean, we're not wasting anything. This is, this is a closed loop system, and we're really happy about um, what we're doing for the environment and how this is actually... Uh, progressing and how, how showing people how to do this is something that we really value. So for the customer we relay the materials, the information, the products, everything that we use, uh, we give that to the customer. The last year of working with all these growers, unbelievable guys, these growers all across America, it's just been amazing in Canada, it's just amazing and it's great to see. Um, we can truly see how good the world is by using this system and and advancing this system it's just great guys you look at every phone call and every email as another opportunity to help a family get started and start being more self-reliant um, anybody that wants to to hear about this give me a call we'll we'll have a, a talk and you know shoot over email anything like that young or old this technology can and will enrich your life I guarantee that when if you wake up in the morning and do this it starts your day off great I love doing it it's it's one of my passions in life I, that's why I picked this uh, career path uh, it's something that I really enjoy doing so if you wake up in the morning and do it or you do it in the afternoon or the evening it's totally up to you maybe you make this you know your at-home job something uh, you know a part-time job maybe this is just something that you want to do for a hobby but you know, it really requires minimum physical effort. You're not sweating your butt off. Unless you want to spend, you know, the the middle of the summer from 12 o'clock to, 
to 5 o'clock in the greenhouse. <laughs> if you're in here around that time shooting videos like I am, <laughs> it gets pretty warm. It's, it's, it's pretty hot in here, uh, around 12 to 5. This entire bundle from one grow site. Yeah. Saute it, bake it, put it in my chocolate cake. <laughs> so we're just getting going, folks. This is the seedling stage. We got our lettuces, cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes over here, all that kind of thing growing. Uh, I'm going to show you every step of the way this year because I know what I'm doing a lot more than I was last year. Like I said, I attribute that to all the different growers across America and Canada that have been helping us. They give us information. We process that information, the data that is recorded from all these different sources, and we're, we're really getting a good idea how to use this growing system now. So um, we're going to flip over to the other side, show you these cucumbers, and we'll be right back. Thanks. I thought I'd pop over here real quick. This is the inlet to my wood stove. Uh, I got it outside here. Um, it kind of has a convection. It, it, the heat rises out of here, comes into the greenhouse, provides me with a nice toasty heat for the, for the winter season. Um, hopefully I'm going to shut this thing down. Hopefully we're shutting her down pretty soon. And uh, you know, it's something that I really like though. I actually made this system with my, uh, my father-in-law, Kurt. Hey Kurt. Uh, we built it together. and It, it was a if I remember right, a flooded fall day, wet everywhere, we we're up to our knees in mud. It was a fun time. <laughs> so uh, this is basically what we're using to, to supplement the heat though. And I'll show you kind of around outside here. This is a great, great supplemental heating source, guys. Um, it's, it's really going to take the cost of heating down uh, quite a bit. Um, it'll actually completely pay for your heating if, if you do it right. Um, but I'm using it as a supplemental heating source for these cold winter days. and. Um, this cold winter months. But as a supplemental heating source for the mild winter days, we use a more efficient heating technology. And that's the, the rocket stove right over here that we had in the beginning of the video. I'll show, you, I'll show you a little bit more about that. So here's the rocket stove, guys. Rockets. Everybody loves rockets, right? <laughs> Anyways, it's a, it's a supplemental heating source. I don't have it going right now, but uh, this is for the mild winter days. This is also a supplemental source for the extremely cold days if I have a wood burner going and it's just not doing it. If I need more, it's, it's a backup, and that's part of the reason why I built it. Um, and, you know, it's a very efficient technology, and it's a very uh, high-tech kind of stove. Even though it's a, this is clay, and I actually encased it with uh, cement around it, um, but the way that it's it's built, there's so much thickness of clay, it, it creates just this combust, combustion of uh, fire. And when you're in here, when you're burning, um, I, you know, I got some shots of, of it burning, but it's it just, it's such a, a hot, hot heat. And it, it just a, such a hot, hot fire that um, the smoke that's emitted from it is not smoke at all. It's actually uh, CO2 and water vapor. Uh, the stove was extremely easy to build, and I, and I actually built this on accident. I was digging a hole for a uh, reservoir, and I got down about 8 inches and realized that the grade of clay that I was digging was extremely high quality. Uh, so I, the rest was history. I just started building it, and um, I bought a few stove pipes, added a cement shell for it, and voila, you know, I had a rocket stove. It was great. So when the fire goes out, I got this here, and this is our... Uh this is our furnace that we're using. It's, it's set up on a thermostat and uh, controlled where when it dips below a certain temperature, uh, it'll kick on. And that saves my butt uh, in, the, in the winter time when it's, it's really, really uh, freezing. And, you know, I, I don't have enough wood to, to really keep it warm in here in the peak hour or the wee hours of the morning. Uh, this thing will kick on and it, it makes it a lot easier on me. So uh, that's my stove there. I love this thing. It's a great stove. Uh, we installed that professionally, by the way. All right, everybody. I got to get back to work. Uh, I got a little warm in the greenhouse. Came here to crack the door in the, the wood burner here. Uh, but, you know, it's been great growing with everybody. Uh, last season, this season, starting off, um, I'm working with everybody. It's, it's just a blessing to be able to do this. 
to have everybody's ideas, all these different individuals, you know, all across the world it has been great. And it's really expands our goals and, and you know, gives us the ability to uh, work with all these different people and document all of our stuff. You know, this is exciting stuff. Guys. After we started Art Garden in the little old state of Wisconsin here, uh, we started documenting our, you know, our journey. And I, uh, I urge everybody to at least give that a try. Uh, write down what you're doing, your ideas. Uh, try to build off of that, uh, and you know you'll see some progress. And you know all of our ancestors did it. Write some things down in a book. You know, get a day-to-day -day, uh, thing going, and you know you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have some good results. We are so thankful to be able to share with everybody and have this opportunity. So uh, to everybody out there, thank you. And you know we'll see you next time. I got to get back to work here, so. We'll, we'll get some more videos out here shortly, and thank you, and have a nice day, everybody.